Acts chapter 1, verse 8. We're off the beaten path. Acts chapter 1, verse 8. You pray for me as I pray for you. In Acts chapter 1, verse 8. The Bible says, For ye shall receive power. After that, the Holy Ghost is come upon you. And ye shall be witnesses unto me, both in Jerusalem and in all Judea and in Samaria and unto the uttermost part of the earth. Don't you know the utmost is victory here? <laughs> Amen. We want to use as a subject title this morning, Coming of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Coming of the Holy Spirit. We are preaching, we are preaching uh, discipleship training. Sermon this morning and sync with the entire ninth Episcopal district and all churches are lifting up discipleship on this morning. And we have not finished our series on Don't Worry. Well, don't worry, we will come back to it. Amen. But this is a very valuable sermon this morning. Please take notes, many notes, copious notes. Uh, they will bless you uh, later on. If you need help this morning, your helper is the Holy Spirit. Jesus left us help for our lives. And sometimes we don't use our help. Can I say that again? Jesus left us help for our lives. Can I back it up this morning? Come with me to Gospel of John chapter 14 and we look at verses 16 through 18. The Bible says, And I will pray the Father, and he shall give you another comforter. Hallelujah. Can you hear me there? that he may abide with you forever. Even the Spirit of Truth, which is another name for the Holy Spirit, Spirit of Truth. Watch it out. The world cannot be seen because it seeth him not neither knoweth him, but ye know him. Somebody said, ye know him. For he dwelleth with you and shall be away and shall be in you. I will not leave you comfortless I will come to you. Does your Bible say that? Yeah. He says, I will not leave you comfortless. I will come to you. Some of your Bibles read, I will not leave you as orphans. I will come to you. Jesus says when the Holy Spirit is in you, 
then I will come to you. Well, in the Gospel of Luke, the disciples experienced the Holy Spirit through the presence of Jesus. And Luke who wrote the book of Acts, Acts of the Apostles, the disciples would experience Jesus through the presence of the Holy Spirit. Can y'all walk with me? If you go with me to Acts chapter 1, look at verses 1 and 2. And Luke wrote both the Gospel of Luke and Acts. So it's good to read Luke and Acts together. Amen. It's one continuity. It flows together. Well, in Acts chapter 1 and verses 1 and 2, the Bible says, The former treaties have I made, O Theophilus, of all that Jesus began both to do and teach, until the day in which he was taken up. After that, he, through the Holy Ghost, had given commandments unto the apostles whom he had chosen. Does your Bible say that? Let's look at that name, Theophilus. The name Theophilus means lover of God. In order, in sequential order, 
in somewhat of a chronological and orderly account from the beginning of Jesus' ministry and his continuation of his ministry after the resurrection. Can y'all hear me? Through the power of the Holy Spirit through his disciples. I'll bring it down to mind. The book of Acts can be called the Acts of the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit came to help the disciples do the work of Jesus. You can't do this work in your own might. You can't do this work in your own strength. You will fall flat on your face and fail. They needed some help to do the work. To your neighbor, your neighbor, you need help to do the work. The Holy Spirit came to help us do the work of Christ. Point to yourself and say, Self, the Holy Spirit has come to help me to do the work of Jesus. You can't do it alone. You can't do it by yourself. You can't do it in your own might. Jesus went about doing good. And to do the work of Jesus, you need the help of the Holy Spirit. Yes, Can I back it up this morning? Yes, Acts chapter 10 and verse 38, the Bible says how God anointed Jesus of Nazareth. I'm going to say that again. How God anointed Jesus of Nazareth with the Holy Ghost and with power. You all can say that with power. 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 Somebody say power. power. And with power. Yeah. And who went about doing good and healing all that were oppressed yeah. of the devil. Yeah. For was with him. Yeah. Tell three names for God was with him. Tell me for God was with him. Hallelujah. Did he say, I won't believe you? Yes. I won't forsake you? Yes. I'll be with you always. Yes. Now tell three names, don't worry. Don't worry. Don't worry. Let's get a little deeper now. Go to Acts chapter 1 and look at verses 3 and 4. The Bible says, Come at the office, the office is to all of us. To whom also he showed himself what? Alive. Alive. After his passion. After his death. By many infallible proofs. Infallible means there are many convincing proofs. Watch it out. Being seen of them, how many days? 40 days. And speaking of the things pertaining to the kingdom of God. And being assembled together with them, commanded them that they should not depart from Jerusalem, but wait. Somebody said wait. But wait for the promise of the Father. 
which said he, he had heard of me. Anytime someone tells you that I'm going to die and then I'm going to get up and come back and talk with you again, I want to hear what you have to say when you come back again. Because then you have to prove something to me. Luke gave the obvious proof that Jesus came back from the dead and appeared to his disciples given the fact that he got away from the grave. Take it neighbor. He got up from the grave. appeared to two men on Emmaus Road. He appeared to Peter. He appeared to his disciples. Can I back it up this morning? Somebody shout he got up. That's what it's all about. He got up. Who didn't get up? Confucius didn't get up. Muhammad didn't get up. But Jesus got up. That's what we're here this morning. Amen. Luke 24, 31 and 34, the Bible says, And their eyes were open, and they knew him, and he vanished out of their sight. And they said one to another, Did not our hearts burn within us while he talked with us by the way? And while he opened to us the scriptures, come on somebody, and they rose up the same hour and returned to Jerusalem and found the eleven gathered together and them that were with them saying, the Lord is with them. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. The Lord is what? The Lord is with and has appeared to Simon. Yes. That's the news they have to tell the world. The Lord is risen. Yes. The one whom we saw crucified yes. is risen. Yes. This is a miracle. Yes. Dr. Hogan, this is the yes. The one that died on that cross yes. is not This, this Jesus got up from the grave. But then they need help to tell the story. They need the Holy Spirit. So Jesus tells them, go and wait until I send the Holy Spirit to you. Wait till you receive the help of the helper. Because there's going to be some opposition. But you're going to need some power on the inside to overcome the opposition. To get a neighbor, neighbor. You need the help of the helper. Can I back it up this morning? Uh, Luke 24 and 49. The Bible says, And behold, and behold, I send the promise of my Father upon you. But ye tarry. But tarry. Which means wait. But tarry ye in the city of Jerusalem. How long shall I tarry? Until ye be endued with power from on high. Is that in your mind? of you are asking this morning, how can the Holy Spirit help me? Yes, he can help us. Well, he can help to guide us. We all need guidance, don't we? We all need help 
in making decisions from day to day. Every day we have decisions that we have to make. Am I right about it? And we wonder sometimes, am I making the right decision? But the Holy Spirit has come to help to guide us. Somebody say, help the Holy Spirit. We're confronted daily with decision making. But God has sent the Holy Spirit to help us to make decisions. To help guide us. Can I back it up? John chapter 16. Verse 13, the Bible says, How be it when he, talk about the Holy Spirit, yes. the Spirit of truth yes. is come. Yes. He will what? He will guide you into all truth. For he shall not speak of himself. Does the Bible say that? Ever he shall hear to the neighbor, neighbor, when he shall hear, that shall he speak, and he will show you. I don't hear you this morning. He shall show you. Come on now, he shall show you things to come. Am I right about it? He shall show you things to come. Can I break it down? As Jesus speaks to the Holy Spirit, the Holy Spirit will speak to your spirit. The Holy Spirit will minister to your spirit. Can y'all hear me? So it's okay to say Jesus said it to me because the message was brought to you by the Holy Spirit from Jesus. Your experience, excuse me, you experience, excuse me, we experience the presence of Jesus by having the Holy Spirit John chapter 15 verse 26 the Bible says Jesus talking now but when the comforter is come whom I will send unto you from from the Father even the spirit of Right this morning. It's the Holy Spirit that reveals. 
And verse number nine, the Bible says, <clears throat> but as it is written, I have not seen, nor ears heard, neither have entered into the heart of man the things. which God has prepared for them that love him. Do you love him? God wants to bless your life. God wants to help your life. You've been doing it on your own. The helper is the Holy Spirit. Do you have a neighbor? He will help you. I'll show you great and mighty things yeah. which you know now. Yeah. Well, how can you know it? The Holy Spirit will tell you. Yeah. Can I back it up? Yeah. First Corinthians chapter 2, verse 10. The Bible says, But God has revealed them unto us by what? His Spirit. For the Spirit Searches all things. Can y'all hear me? Yeah. The deep things. Hallelujah. I want to mention the deep. The deep. Tell me your name. That's awfully deep. The deep. I know the thoughts 
I think towards you. Forms of peace and not of evil. To give you an expected end. A future and a hope. Church say, Amen. 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 Amen.